Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope today. We're gonna do a channeling session with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. And I'm going to utilize the questions that you submitted. I have a video that you can actually submit on that video, a comment to request for me to channel someone. But in order for me to consider that, your request, you've got to submit five questions with that comment. And that video I will link below. It's called You Choose the Channel. All right, let's talk with Freddie. Hey, come on in, honey. <laughs> I have been seeing you for a couple of days. Oh, I love you too. You're so awesome. Oh, yes, it's so great to see you. You are such a joy. And it's been a little bit since we've talked. So I, because my birthday is coming up very, very soon, I wanted to make sure that I connected with some of my favorites. And you were one of my favorites. And I did just channel with uh, Princess Diana too. So I have a new video up of her in the last few weeks. And I know you guys were friends. And so I just, it all kind of connects, you know? Oh, you guys, oh my gosh, I cannot smile. I hope you can feel his energy. I hope you can feel his energy. He's got a white cat with him, a cat that has white on it. And it looks like it's got a little bit of a different color as well, maybe gray, um, but a white fluffy cat. Yeah, he just loves, loves to bring the cats for those of you animal lovers out there. All right, I am gonna remind you guys, viewers, that we do have a playlist for Freddie Mercury, so go ahead and check that out if you're a Freddie fan. All right. So we're going to go through some questions from viewers. So from your, some of your fans have some questions for you. So I'm going to read some of them. This might be a long video or maybe we'll have to do two. <laughs> okay. And thanks you guys for submitting your questions. All right. So here we are, Lana from the UK. Oh, born in London. Yep. In the UK, but She's from Australia, it says, so I, okay, there we go. Um, she says, hi, lovely Bridget. I grew up listening to Freddie in the 70s. He's my spirit guide. I consistently get signs from him, especially songs related to what I'm, what I'm asking for guidance related to. So here are her questions. One, the first question is, do you still enjoy singing? He literally just stands up and he goes, of course I do. <laughs> I'm not going to try to go, of course I do. <laughs> but that's the way he's doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> hey, I'm going to have fun in this video, guys, because it's my birthday week and I'm going to enjoy this time with Freddie, even though you guys are asking the questions. All right, Lana, you asked another one. Um, are you aware of the powerful energy that you have as a spirit guide? That is a brilliant question. Brilliant. Are you aware of the energy that you have as a guide, as a spirit guide? And he's like, of course I am. He's like, then he shows me this huge, like big cut, red cut out. You guys know I'm clairvoyant. At least if you've been around the block here at Above Life Channel, and you know Bridget and how Bridget channels, you know that I'm very clairvoyant, visual. So big, huge red cut out Valentine heart. He's like holding this big heart. And he's like, yes, I do. I know. He's like, I know. Of course I know. He's like, it's my job. He's like, I'm passionate about this. Of course, I'm going to help you. Of course, I'm going to help you. Of course I am, of course I am. You always help out your friends. Freddie is very loyal. His energy is very loyal. He's sharing with me loyalty, that he has loyalty to his fans. And he's like, I'm not gonna leave you. I'm not gonna leave you. So yes, he is aware and he loves it. He loves it, absolutely loves it, loves you guys, loves his fans, loves you guys. All right, so thank you. And he says, thank you. Thank you for that. He says, thank you for that. Thank you for that. All right. Let's ask another question. Um, this person, <laughs> this person's name is something I probably can't say on YouTube because I don't want to get flagged or anything, but we'll call this person D-A, okay? All right, D-A. All right, so many people I come in contact with in other channeling groups say Freddie 
is their spirit guide. I'm wondering why he appears to so many different average everyday kind of people, you know, that aren't artists or musicians. I wasn't a huge fan of Queen, but when I started connecting to my guardian angel, I got tons of Freddie and Queen synchronicities. I'm not a musician or an artist. I am clairvoyant and have seen him, don't know why. All right, so DA, here is the response to that question. He says, he looks at me and says, would you consider yourself an artist, Bridget? Would you consider yourself an artist? You know, I wouldn't consider myself an artist, although I do say that psychic work and spirit work is definitely much more like an art form. It's not a science. To me, it's not a science at all. So maybe in that way, but I think I would use the term um, creative. So, I mean, Freddie, does that fit for you? That you would be part of people who are creating their lives and thus people who are interested in spirituality or intuition would definitely connect with you. I mean, it makes perfect sense to me intellectually. So let's hear from you. Why do you appear to so many average, everyday people? <laughs> He's like, we're all extraordinary. He says, we're all extraordinary. Everyone has their, um, he's not, he's kind of like, I don't know what the word or the phrase, he's using a phrase, but I'm gonna say thing, everyone has their thing. He's like, everyone has their, it's like the thing that gets you going, the thing that really turns you on. That's a good way to say it, isn't it? Yeah, the thing that turns you on. Everyone has that, everyone has the, Everyone has that, that I want to use the word desire, but he's saying everyone has the passion. Everyone has passion. Everyone has the passion for something to, to create or make something to share, to share, you know, to be, um, I say, you know, he's like to share, to share. Um, and he's kind of, he's like, really like, he's like, You choose to be average or to consider yourself average. And when you do that, you separate yourself. You take yourself out of the, the what is possible, the possibility of what, what you could be. I'm not talking about fame, he says. I'm not talking about fame. I'm talking about bringing forward the, the attributes, the best parts, the, bringing forward your unique personality and sharing that with others. And he says, I, it doesn't matter what scale it is. I mean, what makes you average? Everyone has the same, the same energy. You, it's, all, it's, it's on you. It is up to you. He says, I say on you, but he says, it's up to you to engage with that, to play with that, to do something with it. So to say average, I, um, that doesn't really make sense to me that, 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 that sets you apart in a way that isn't going to help you in any, in any way at all. It's not going to help you at all. Interesting. Thank you for that. All right. Let's see what else we have. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Patty from Texas. Hey, Patty, I've seen your comments on Above Life channel. Thank you so much for participating in the discussions here on all of the weekly videos. Appreciate that. Um, her first question is, how was it when you learned of, I don't know who this person is, Montserrat Cabela's death? Were you there to meet her at her transition? You were so loved and respected by each other. And here on earth, do you often cross paths in the afterlife? Are you able to sing together? Is she the, is she the, um, the one that you sang the opera with? He said, yes, yes, yes. And he said, she is a dear love of mine. She is a dear love of mine. He said, she indeed larger than life. Such a beautiful, amazing, incredible woman. Just an incredible, incredible, loving, generous woman. He's just expressing all of this incredible, just so much overflowing admiration for her and how much he loves her. And, and um, he showed me on the spirit plane, she's like touring, <laughs> it kind of feels like. And he says, when we have an opportunity to unite and usually he's showing me, this is interesting, I've never seen this before. 
Freddie, I've never seen this before. He's showing me that the two of them would come together for a common cause, something that they um, like children, the arts, um, the future, um, um, act, like an activism, almost like nonprofit, almost like um, in the afterlife, Freddie and, and this beautiful woman, they come together. She's just larger than life. She's just this huge energy. Um, they come together and they work on um, things to support. And it feels like children and it feels like the arts and like a foundation or something. They come together and they, they, they energetically support this, this like movement or this, um, the expression. And I, I, you guys might know what this is or might the foundation or whatever it may be might actually exist here. Um, like it might be a tangible thing, particularly that you guys know of, but the two of them come together and they do that. So she, he's giving me the vibe that she is touring and I've never seen spirit in the afterlife. I mean, there's always a first for everything, right? Um, where they actually are collaborating at times to come in energetically to support movements around children, around the arts is what I, I see, the arts and then the expressiveness. And so it almost feels like performing arts and just really, um, oh, it's so cool, you guys, so cool. I've never seen that before where spirit would really like kind of come together to support, but it makes sense. I mean, again, I mean, it makes sense. He says, why, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we continue to support? If we, if we are spirit guides for individuals, then why wouldn't we uh, collaborate and connect and amplify energy of support for the, um, the advancement of humanity? Why, why wouldn't we do that? We would, we would certainly, wouldn't, wouldn't you do that? If you had the opportunity, wouldn't you do that? He says to me, thank you. Yeah, that's oh, awesome, awesome. Great question. Great question. Okay, so let's see, there's a couple more here. I want to make sure that I get some more in. All right, Hallie, Hallie Chates. All right, from Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, has a question for you, Freddie. She says, I would love for you to channel Freddie Mercury Grant again. Questions are, do you realize how much you are still loved by new fans and old fans? And what are your thoughts about Queen still being so popular? I love it. He says, I love it. I love it. I love all of it. All of it. I love all of it. All of it. He says, this is what you would say, Bridget. This is what you would talk about, about abundance. It's not just about money, is it? Isn't it? Oh my gosh, I was just journaling today, you guys, about, I was just um, working with the concepts of money and abundance. That's fast, that's, that's fascinating that you bring that up, okay. So abundance is love. It amplifies. He says, yeah, he says, yeah, it doesn't, new, old, young, tall, short. I mean, he's like, there's no, why discriminate? Why separate? Why separate? Love does not separate. He says love only combines. It only combines. It only grows stronger with time. As, as far as Queen's popularity though, how do you feel about that with the band? I mean, we did, we have done channeling, you guys, where we've talked about um, the lead singer, Adam, and the the band and such so so watch the other videos on the playlist with freddie mercury to get some of the more of that insight if you're interested in that all right so um what about what do you think about the band being so popular and would you be would you be doing that today i don't think i could stop he says i don't think you could stop me from performing or creating i don't think you could stop me although i think i would pace myself a bit more I would pace myself a bit more than than maybe what um, what you see the band doing now. I I think I would uh, maybe do some things differently just because of choice, just because of the freedom of choice. But I would perform. He says I would perform. I would love that. I would love that. That's the that's the most incredible part is the performing. You know, you make something in the studio and, and it just comes together just just right. And you have all of these talented people contributing to this and you make this and it's beautiful. 
love and you just love it and you just get so excited about it and when you can perform it in front of an audience you can feel that energy it comes to life and it comes right back to you and it's just this it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it's yeah it's abundance he says it's abundance it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and that's that's pretty special he says that's pretty special that's pretty special yeah. he says i'm glad he says I'm, I'm thankful to have been a part of it and he's like, I, 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 all the best for them. All the best for them. I'm thankful to have been a part of it. All right. Okay, so see if, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, you know what? Um, let's see. I'm going to ask one more question from her because this is a really good question that she asked. Um... As much as you could answer this, because we want to respect this person, that this person is still living. Um, Freddie, why didn't John Deacon come to visit you when you got really sick? Do you have any insights on that? He says, well, it's choice. He said, it's his choice. I don't, I'm not, I don't have any ill feelings toward him in any way. You need to do what's right for you. When, when your loved one is sick, when someone you love and you care for so much and have been friends with for so long, get sick, it, it feels disheartening. It feels like um, it's very painful. I think it was more painful for him to see me than to be sick himself. It, 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 I, I understand that it deeply hurt him when I left and I th I think it's important to say that everyone has their own journey. Everyone has their own experience with pain and loss and grief and dealing with people who have terminal illnesses. I know that many of you will, who are watching, oh, this is making me emotional. Many who are watching can relate to this because you've had personal experiences related to this. All right. So there's no, you know, yeah. Oh, Good. We're good, he says. We're good. Wow. And then here's a couple more. She's really great questions. Wow, Hallie. Really great questions. Wow. Wow. Guys, can we keep going? Yeah, we got some time here. Um, so was it part of a larger purpose that you got AIDS? Was it pre-planned? He says it wasn't part of the plan. No. No, I didn't set out to be, a, he says, a poster child. I, you give me too much credit. I'm certainly not the face of AIDS or I don't deserve any kind of acclaim for being someone that was very public and well-known that died from the horrible disease. It's horrible. It's horrific. There's so many advancements now that that aren't because of me. That's not because of me. That wasn't my role. For me, it was more... I, I can share. I, I have to be... Um, I want to use the word cautious, you guys. I don't know what he's saying um, exactly what word he is using, but cautious about sharing, he says, about life plan or pre-planning as an individual that is that is 100% um, individual <clears throat> I can share that I knew that I wouldn't be an old man I knew that there there was always a sense for me that life would be short-lived and to make the most of it which is is in part why I think um, So many of you appreciated the energy that I could bring because it was, I knew it was a short amount of time. I knew that it wouldn't be, I wouldn't have to conserve my energy. I wouldn't have to um, temper things or worry about being a washed up musician or what I was going to sing when I was 85. I knew that that was not going to be the case. So I could share the most I could possibly share while I could. 
but I did not also answer a follow-up question because I'm like in my mind talking to him at the same time that we're talking. I'm like, um, this is a question people are, would ask. I know, I just know, Freddie, I know. So he says, to answer your question, <laughs> your follow-up question, no, I didn't try to get AIDS. I didn't um, want to get it. It wasn't like a suicide thing or it wasn't a, okay, well, I'm going to choose this. It, it wasn't, it was nothing like that. It was nothing like that. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. All right, Freddie. Well, those are pretty awesome questions. I'm just going to scroll up and see if there's any extra ones that I may have missed. Um, let's see. Oh, no questions though. So many people are sharing their love for you, but no, they're not asking actual like questions that I can ask you. So, but lots of love, lots of love. Oh, did I, did I do this one? No, I didn't. I missed this one. All right. So. Let's see. So here's a couple more questions from another viewer that has an unusual name for their like screen name. So we're calling him Jay. All right. Um, I would like another Freddie trans channel, which I'm, this is not a trans channel. A trans channel is like a transformative channel, which is uh, where I do almost like a meditative state and I share energy with individual. I haven't done those for a while. I haven't. I've thought about doing those in a small group or maybe in like a, a community-based setting, but not not at Above Life Channel, I don't think. They weren't, they haven't been all that well received. And there it takes a lot of work for me to do that too. So so that's the answer for me for your question. But we'll ask you, Freddie, some of these questions. Um, what would you do to change about the state of the world at the moment? Wow, hello, this is a big question. What would you do? He says, that, he says absolutely nothing. He says, there's nothing I can do. I can't do anything to change the course of your destiny or your fate or whatever it is that you believe your future to be. I can support, I can share love and connect with those who connect with me and they can receive that love, that encouragement that you will. He says the encouragement that you will. So um, yeah, that's it. There's no political stuff, there's no anything. And he's like, I'm not political. I'm not gonna talk about politics. I'm not gonna talk about that. All right. Do you have any regrets? He says, of course I do. Of course, we all do. We all do. But it's not like that. It's not like that for me now. Like, I don't feel that. I don't feel pain. I don't feel the anguish. I don't feel um, depression. I don't feel anxiety. I don't feel any of those things that, those modern things that you all feel. I, I simply don't feel it. It's not a part of my existence any longer. But of course I have regrets in a, in a, in a human sort of way. Yes, of course I do. Of course I do. Am I going to share those with you? Not likely. There are some personal things that upon my death that I had to come to terms with and allow myself as a spirit even to grieve. And I'll, I'll say that. All right. Okay. That's awesome. All right, you guys. Okay, so there's the questions that you guys submitted. Remember, if you want to, to give me a recommendation for who to channel next, the best way to do that, because where I go to find out that information, there's a link below to the video that says you choose the channel. Please put your comment with who you want to um, have me channel and then five questions that I can ask that person. And that's what I will do in the future. I'll just choose them randomly. You guys have been great as far as the questions. So Freddie, is that good? Are we good? He says, he says, absolutely. Yes, we're good. We're good. I'm good. Are you good? I'm, I'm very good. I'm very good. All right, you guys, this has been a channeling session with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Be sure, sure to check out the playlist here at Above Life Channel. I am Bridget and the purpose here is always to inspire 
your spirit to fill you with hope because this is your life after all. It's your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new weekly channeling session.